Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, bro. Hey. So, this is going to be a Divine Masculine and a Karmic. We're going to find out what's going on with the Divine Masculine and the Karmic. All right. So, yeah. This is highly requested. I'll be getting a lot of emails and people requesting for this type of read. So, let's do it. Tell me what's going on between the masculine and the karmic. Oh, like that just jumped right out, right? <laughs> the five of wands want to jump out. Um, okay, somebody real pushy, a defensive. Oh, shoot now. Okay. All right, so somebody here. Oh, gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody's trying to keep, so the, it looks like the karmic is trying to hold on to dear life to this man or woman, whatever the case. But this person real, masculine is super duper popular, very uh, good looking. And this is this karmic holding on for dear life with this four of pentacles energy. This person could be uh, real popular, very well known, um, could own his own business, whatever the case may be. Just very, very um, known, okay? Very, se I'm getting sexy type of energy, like, oh, it's sexy, with that type of energy with the devil and the king of wands. Hmm. This person could have like a dark side to them. Um, could be a Capricorn or a Leo Sagittarius Aries. Yeah, this current is holding on for dear life. The energies that I got here, I see Pisces, Taurus, Leo, Leo heavy with the, the sun. And the strength card here. Definitely um, Leo, Taurus, Hangman, Pisces energy. Oh, and King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Vir Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I think that's masculine energy. Why is the sun here? Hold on, a card flipped over. Is this it? Yeah. Okay, six of swords. Oh, so somebody, mm, somebody could be having some financial issues. I'm literally hearing somebody broke. Five of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to find a way out of this situation. We got the world, Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, like this relationship is rocky already. It's, it's rocky. It started off rocky. Knight of Wands and Ten of Pentacles is definitely not somebody that you want to build a Ten of Pentacles with. Because they're flighty. They're in and out. They they aren't, you know. <laughs> they, they're women and then they're gone and next. Somebody's seeing this. I feel like masculine could be seeing this as a come up. Uh, that's just what I said. Seven of Swords and a Fool. I feel like this... I feel like
I'm telling you, this karmic is trying to keep masculine from coming back to you. This is your energy, the Empress here, and the Two of Swords, okay? So, this person is blocked. Karmic is blocking masculine from coming towards you. Look at this. Five of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Six of Cups. This is her stopping him from coming back. Like, actually, like, throwing stuff up in his face. Um, could be kind of like making him feel special a lot, too. Like, buying things for him. Just overindulging. Making him feel special to where he won't, you know, want to leave. Now, we got the Tower and the, King of, and the Queen of Swords. Sorry. So, they have their moments. They have their moments for sure. Well, we got uh, somebody's energy here is very kind of like pushy. Somebody's feeling like they have to defend themselves, stand up for themselves. So, it looks like Karmic is spying on the masculine. She's spying on him. She's keeping a real close eye on him. Like, he's under surveillance. Yeah, didn't I tell you? She feel like he's, she's serious. She's dead ass serious about him not going nowhere. Five of Pentacles, King of Wands. Like, eh, 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 you need me. So where you going? All right, so it looks like there could even be like a little bit of hostility going on here, like an actual fight. Like they actually be getting into it. Um, and then... She comes back in and tries to balance the situation out so things can, you know, because I feel like she's afraid that he'll return back to the divine feminine here. Six of Cups and the Empress. She don't want that to happen. <laughs> two of Swords and the Two of Wands, she don't want that to happen. <laughs> Why is the King of Pentacles here? A hermit could be a Virgo. Maybe a Virgo. Yep, she's trying to find a way to keep him stuck. For some of you, if this is, if you're married to your masculine, she's trying to get him to get a divorce with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Okay, she's trying to find a way to keep him stuck. Okay, she does not, she's doing everything that she can in her power to make sure that Divine Masculine stays away from you divine feminine I feel like they could have been keeping their relationship private, but now it's public. Okay, it's public now. With the Six of Wands, this is everybody knowing what's going on. Like, everybody, like, you know, watching a lot of eyes. But at first, I think that maybe it was kept on the low. It was kept a secret. Um, but it's now public. She's investing in the masculine. Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. She's investing money and time. Yep. Whatever he asks for, she is providing it for him. We got the Devil and the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. It's a toxic situation, but masculine is getting money. 
and getting the Ten of Cups energy from her as well. The only thing that she's trying to find out and trying to get some clarity on is how she can stick him, how she can trap him. Okay, she's trying to find out how, for some of you, it's a divorce for sure. Like, she's trying to find a way to get masculine to divorce or in some type of contract or um, to separate y'all completely. Yes, it is saying that this will fix all of her issues. Look at this. Five of Swords and Injustice. Like, this will just resolve her issue. So, that's like kind of like the only issue that she has is everything else is great. The Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. But the only issue is, it's, it's like it's one main thing that's just lingering. Like, it's still some type of connection between you and masculine. It's, it's a connection. It's one thing that she feels like is in the way. For some reason, she feels like it's something in the way. And it has a lot to do with the fem divine feminine. I see some, you know, discontent and boredom here. And needing to spice up the life, their life, because it was getting kind of boring. They might have been in the house a lot, but here's their energy again. Okay, with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Swords. She might be upset because um, she feels like that's divine masculine is her man. Yep, and she is just so worried about him coming back, going back to the divine feminine. <laughs> she is worried about it. She is worried. Could be a Leo with the strength card here. All right, so it looks like she's getting ready to make some type of changes. Maybe she's getting ready to change her attire, what she wears, how she dress. Um, she might start partying a little bit more, going out a little bit more to try to piss uh, Divine Masculine off. Try to get him more involved in the connection, in the relationship. Alright, so she's, currently she's waiting on an apology. It looks like Divine Masculine has said something um, or she feels offended by something that was said. She offended by something that was said that Divine, Mas that Divine Masculine said. She's uh, waiting on an apology. She ain't gonna never get it. She ain't get it yet. So, Divine Masculine over here with this Two of Cups energy and the Devil. This definitely could be a Capricorn. Your Divine Masculine could be a Capricorn, but uh, they know that the situation is toxic. They're in a toxic relationship. He's over here having regrets. Um, six of Pentacles and Seven of Cups. So he's given her too many uh, avenues here. He done gave her so many options. And he's actually sitting over here regretting it. So... He's over here, his, his energy is like, you know, I thought that was over with, but I'm still holding on. They're still holding on to the past. Masculine's still over here holding on to something from the past. We know that it's divine feminine. Somebody here is, could definitely still be married with the two of pentacles and the hierophant. Could be going through a separation. And that is uh, karmic's uh, fear here. I see the argument could have started over money. The argument could have could be about money. Mm -hmm. 
So they over here arguing about money. Eight of Wands. I see communication. Them communicating. The Nine of Pentacles and a Five of Swords. Somebody real selfish. Like somebody could have been called somebody selfish. I'm saying like they only think about themselves. And it looks like the disagreement is about finances. Ace of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> so they over here arguing about money. She over here getting offended. Okay, it looks like she's she's in the energy of like, you know what? I, I did that for you the last time. She feels like she's getting played. Because maybe masculine over there ask her for stuff all the time. I mean, you've been doing it, honey. You've been doing it. <laughs> you started it like that. That's how you got them. All right, what else? How does masculine view the um the karmic? How does masculine view the karmic? Yeah, separation. Yeah, this this I think they're separated, and then we got seduction. I think um, this happened, this occurred possibly when you and masculine separated. Because we got separation. And then we got seduction here. That was at the bottom of the deck. And this is the third party interference. So this happened during a separation period by you and divine masculine were separated. We got kisses, unconditionally loving, giving, and receiving affection, falling in love. So it looks like we got the Ten of Swords and the Passion card. We got Grim Reaper and Passion. So it looks like Masculine wasn't getting any passion. So they ended up falling, falling for the karmic because the karmic is being giving, showing unconditional love. Um, and they could have fell in love with this karmic. They could have fell in love with that hand, that giving hand. All right, then we got wedding rings. So it does look like there's a marriage here, like the separation, like there's a separation here. And then we got seduction again at the bottom of the deck, third party. Tell me more. Oh, there's way too many cards. Okay, so we got stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception. All right, so somebody is stabbed in the back. It's going to get stabbed in the back or got stabbed in the back. Maybe they stabbed. They feel like they stabbed you in the back by dealing with this karmic. Oh, they're dealing with it for the money. And this seduction keeps coming up. They're dealing with it for the money. Yeah. And see, this seduction here, this definitely third party, third party. All right, so we got um, relationship evolving in the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So it looks like, oh, look at that karmic relationship. Karmic relationship. This is definitely, I'm getting a very, masculine is narcissistic. It's coming out very narcissistic. They're super self-indulgent and they mirror. So they could be mirroring, um, coming off as very, uh, you know, focused on themselves, doing some shadow work. Um, they could be mirroring, mirroring each other or reflecting over wounds. Uh, I'm just getting like, this situation is so fake. So fake. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting karmic is wanting to take this relationship to the next level. But it looks like there's like a, a marriage or some type of it's some type of commitment that masculine has with his divine feminine. The connection is undeniable and she wants to cut that tie completely. Then we got the snake and seduction. Yeah. 
this just keeps sh revealing itself. Definitely karmic energy. This person would do anything to keep masculine away from feminine. All right, that's the message that I got, y'all. Let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.